video is going to be um, covering a few examples of working with fractions and mixed numbers in uh, problems involving perimeter. And we've uh, talked about perimeter previously when we talked about whole numbers. We're going to continue to talk about perimeter with fractions, mixed numbers, and also with decimals. So you should get lots of practice uh, during this course. The first example is going to be a rectangle. And remember, a perimeter is a one-dimensional uh, uh, form of or unit of measurement. Um, and so, our, so if we're working in inches, then um, the answer will reflect that and just be an inch form. It's not going to be inch squared or inch cubed. Let's say that we have um, 8 and 5 eighths inches on the length and two and a half inches on the width. Now there's a couple ways that you could work out perimeter of a rectangle. Um, the, you know, the, e the easy way, or I, I don't know, maybe not the easy way, but maybe the longer way, in, in fact, um, is to just add up the sides. And so notice it's not just going to be eight and five eighths plus two and a half, because that's only going to uh, reference two of the sides. We want to look at all four sides. So the left and right are going to be two and a half, and the top and the bottom will be eight and five eighths. So we could just write it all out like this. And I'll show you another way here in a minute. Okay, so that's one way. And what we would do is find a common denominator. We, you know, we've got eights and halves all the way through. I know that two goes into eight four times. So these one halves are going to become two and four eighths. So I'll just go ahead and rewrite that. The, the 8 and 5 eighths are going to stay the same. Okay, now that our denominators are the same, we can add up our numerators. Uh, 5 and 4 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. Plus 4 more is 18. So we have 18 eighths. And then 8 plus 2 is 10. Plus 8 is 18. Plus 2 is 20. And notice this 18 eighths, that's really an improper fraction within the mixed number. So we want to change that into a mixed number and then add it to the 20. So if I just look at the 18 eighths, I know that 8 goes into 18 two times with 2 left over. So 2 and 2 eighths. We're going to add that to the 20. So, and also we could reduce this, 2 goes into 8 uh, four times. So really when we get to our final answer, we're going to have 22 and 1 fourth inch. And that would be the perimeter. Now I said earlier there's another way uh, uh, that, we could use, that we could do perimeter of a rectangular, of a rectangle, excuse me. And that's with this formula, P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And since we've already done a little bit of multiplying with fractions, I'm going to go ahead and do this same problem um, using that formula. Okay, So 2, that means because we had a top and a bottom, uh, so P equals 2, and I'm going to go ahead and do a multiplication symbol, 8 and 5 eighths plus, and then the 2 times the width, which is 2 and a half. Now, previously, when we talked about multiplying with mixed numbers, we converted them to improper fractions first, and then, um, and then worked through the problem, and then would change it back to a mixed number if we needed to. And uh, order of operations states that we're going to do multiplication first. So we're going to take care of the multiplication on both sides, and then we'll add uh, up what we have. So to rewrite, the 2 uh, becomes 2 over 1. 
8 becomes, or 8 and 5 eighths, 8 times 8 is 64, plus 5 is 69 eighths. And then we've got 2 over 1 times, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 5 halves. Now it does look like I can do some reducing here. The 2 uh, and the 8 can be reduced. Uh, it doesn't look like I can reduce anything else. And here also these 2s can be reduced. So 1 times 69 is 69 fourths. And then I have 1 times 5, that's going to be 5 over 1. Now, uh, because I want to uh, add now, I want to change this one into fourths. So I'm going to multiply by four and the 69 fourths stays the same. Five times four is 20 over four. 20 plus 69 is going to be 89 fourths. And now we've got a big improper fraction. We want to convert that to a mixed number and um, so we're really going to be dividing 89 by 4. Now I know, um, let's see, so 4 goes into 8 two times, and we don't have any left over. 4 goes into 9 at least two times with one left over, so 2 and a 4. Let's see if that matches up with our last example when we did it the other way, and it looks like it does. Now in both of these examples, both methods kind of took a while. And um, so you get to pick and choose which method you want to practice, um, but both methods should work. I do one example uh, with a triangle. And I'll draw a picture of that. We know the formula, uh, actually perimeter for, for perimeter of a triangle, or at least not a non-equilateral triangle um, is going to be side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3. So P equals side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3. Okay, we're just going to add up the sides. So I'll go ahead and make up some numbers here. Let's say this is uh, 2 thirds meters. Let's say this is um, one and a half meter, and then we'll say this is uh, two meters. Okay, so again, we're just going to add them up two thirds plus one and one half plus two. Get some more paper. All right, now, um Notice I have a third and a half, and so I need to make them, um, change them so I have a common denominator. And you want to think of the common factors, or uh, common multiples, excuse me. Um, and so we've got, we're going to make this into sixths, so I'm going to multiply by two, and I'm going to multiply this one by three. So four sixths plus one and three sixths plus Two. Now, I don't need to convert that 2 into a fraction, and it might be helpful to rewrite this as a vertical problem, and I'll go ahead and do that here. So I'll, I'll go 4 sixths, 1 and 3 sixths, and then 2. Okay, so this one doesn't have a whole number, and if we just focus on the fractions, we're going to take these two and add them up. We get 7 sixths, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 and 7 sixths. Again, this part is improper. How many times does 6 go into 7? It goes in one whole time. So 1 and 1 sixth plus the 3 is going to give us 4 and 1 sixth. And I think it was in meters. So perimeter is 4 and 1 sixth meter.